guys. Uh, Stephan from thehouse.com. So we are out here just shooting that trail hogging. Um, I'm gonna show you guys some tips shooting long lines. The nice thing about long lens is you can compress the scene uh, with the telephoto lens. So like you can put stuff in the foreground and put stuff in the background and shoot, you know, like get a good depth of field. Um, so I like to either find something, it's funny because people at work make fun of me all the time about this, but I like to find stuff to put in the foreground and troll hogging is a great place to do that because you can layer the rails. So you can use like other features to add to your photos for what the rider is hitting. Um, so for instance, like if you look at like this down bar here, and then there's the flat bar in the background there, you could shoot something on the top of the flat and possibly like layer the down bar um, in front of it or shoot something here or use the trees kind of to add in like some depth of field elements to give your photo a little bit more dy but the dynamic feel. Um, yeah, and then I also too like to shoot anywhere you can use your aperture if you go wide open. Um, so like a large aperture at like F2.8 or F, F2.8 is like pushing it, then everything, if you gotta make sure you're tack, tack sharp, like what you're shooting is like focus properly, otherwise like you're gonna be slightly fuzzy on your focus. Um, I like to shoot anywhere from, you know, F6 to F10, and that gives you a good range of depth of field without, it gives you a little bit of leeway when it comes to shooting a future and not having it in focus. Um, yeah, so yeah, we'll go shoot some photos and yeah, you try it yourself. Get a good exercise in sometimes. Guys, Tony just did a switch 50. If you look, this is like what a butt shot is. So it's where his back is facing you. Generally, you don't want that kind of a shot. Um, another thing to think about when you're shooting long lens or just fisheye in general. So like Tony, if you look at this photo here, well, we can probably, we'll put it up on the screen so you can see it. Uh, there's a lot of trees in the background there. So if you try to frame it up where there's more open sky than there is trees, that way like your subject doesn't get lost in a jumbled background. So that's another thing to look for when you're shooting. And that can be, like I can go lower here and get more sky to get rid of those trees. Or you can shoot kind of higher and then you use the snow as a background, um, which is a little tougher because you have to be on a higher, like, you know, you might have to climb in a tree or something like that, or be on a giant ladder. But so generally you shoot like, you want to get like a good clean background so your subject stands out. Whereas like trees, it gets a little jumbled and messy and you can't really see the focal point, which is the rider and the trick. Um, the other option too is shooting photos from, like shooting a action shot or something from below and you're shooting downhill. Like, so if I was shooting, there's that elbow rail down there or actually, yeah, it's the elbow. So like that would be a good shot. We could shoot low and you could actually use the snow as your background and it doesn't get jumbled. That way you're not losing your subject matter in the, the trees or in a building if you're shooting street or something like that. But, so just something to look for. Yeah, so using foreground um, in the photo you'll see here that it's a good way you can actually add some dynamic elements to your shot. Um, rather than just like a shot of the rail and the snow and just the rider in the future. So just yeah, play with it. Um, sometimes it can get a little too much. You obviously don't want to overdo it, but you can overdo it really easily. But you can also underdo it. It's amazing what just a little bit of element that has nothing to do with the trick can do for... Damn. Yeah, like what a little trick. Garrett just did a one foot so over the, the spine down there, the tabletop. Yeah, so just play with it and have fun and the more you shoot, the more you take photos, the better you're going to get. 
Um, yeah. See me on so. smoke a skier. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, guys. Peace out. Um, yeah. See you on snow, possibly. You probably find me either hanging out by a rail or in the trees shooting a photo. Long ones. Who knows? So, peace. Have a good one. Check for more videos over here. I don't know if they're over here or not, but or over here. Yeah. See you guys later.